I just got off a Zoom percussion hang. We do that at World Drum Club every month for patrons. Uh, we just had a Zoom hang, and one of the questions was, uh, how do I replace my broken drum head? Uh, there was one woman that had a broken bongo head. I also have a private lesson student uh, who just replaced his conga heads, and they both use the same method that I'm going to recommend that you use here as one option. So that's what this video is about. If you have a broken head or you have an old head and you want to replace it, and you have um, mainstream, like factory-made drums, like LP, Meinl, Toka, Tycoon, if you have one of those brands, uh, this method will probably work for you. So here the, here's what that is. So if you uh, want to replace your head, you can purchase pre-fitted drum heads from most of the major manufacturers. And what you do, you don't just want to put it on dry. So I'm going to tell you what to do in this video coming up. But the first thing you want to do is check to make sure you can buy the head. A pre-fitted head is a head that has basically been put on a drum and then taken off. So this is one for a toka bongo. Uh, you can see here, it's got the, the badge on the head. And what this consists of is the head and also the what we call the flesh hoop. So there's a piece of metal in here, a metal hoop. And this is the same for congas or bongos. And you can see that it's already tucked. So we call this tucking the head. We tuck, it tucks under the edge. So if I took this head off, it would look similar to this, a little bit different color, but the mechanics are the same. So what you want to do is don't just get it straight out of the packaging and put it on your drum. In some cases, you can do that, but you want to do this other thing I'm going to recommend if you can, and that is get the head, whether it's a bongo head or conga head, flip it over, turn it, put it on a surface, fill it with water. Uh, it doesn't, don't fill it with hot water. It can be just room temperature water or cool water. And let it sit. Um, oh, and, I, and don't fill it all the way. Fill it about halfway. So, you know, just a little bit. To get the edge, let me go to the overhead view again. What you want to do is you want to soften this part right here, which is what we call the bearing edge. That, this part is what touches the shell over here or here. And that is a critical area. So you want to soften that a little bit, and the water will do that. So let it soak. Bongo heads, 30 minutes is probably plenty. You want to check it, and it, you don't want it to get really soft, uh, but you want it to soften a little. So somewhere softer than where, you know, when it was dry. Uh, conga heads, you know, it might take an hour or two hours, depending on the thickness of the head. But you just want it to get a little bit softer. What I do is I'll just press right on that edge because when you get the head and it's new, it's going to be pretty hard. You're probably not going to be able to press it and there's not going to be any give to it. But when the head has a little bit of give, right, that's when you take it, give and take. You take it and dry it off and then you can mount it on your drum. And that's pretty simple. I have a whole video on how to mount a conga head. You can look that up. It's basically what you see is what you get. You know, take your, take the nuts off or take all the lugs out. You know, you might want to clean the drum out, clean it off, uh, put a little bit of grease on the threads of the um, tension rods, you know, just service the drum, clean it up a little bit, and then put the head on and then tighten it down till it's snug and maybe you, have, you get a low tone. Don't try to tune it up at that point. Why? Because... When the head is wet, remember this is uh, wet, remember this is rawhide, right? And when you wet it, it's kind of like your hair or anything else. When it's wet, it becomes more fragile. So you don't want to try to crank it down when it's wet, but you do want to tighten it somewhat. Because if you don't keep a certain amount of pressure, if you don't have some pressure on the head, it could form a little lip uh, or it could turn into a little valley in the middle part because that's going to dry faster. And it's just something that happens with, it can happen with bongo heads or conga heads. You need to keep some pressure on it, but just enough. So I would say you have a low tone, right? And then as it dries, you're going to find that you need to tighten the lugs a little bit more, right? It's going to loosen, actually, that, that even if you tighten it up, you can come back later. The head will be drier, but the lugs will be looser. You need to keep tightening them a little bit. So check it every hour or so. 
uh, especially the first day, it's going to dry out faster. And then I would leave it, you know, bongos may dry in a day, depending on your particular circumstances. But congas, I would say just take a couple days, maybe up to three, depending on humidity and temperature and everything, to let that head fully dry. Then you can tune it up and then it'll be ready to play. And we do that uh, because not every drum is exactly the same. I don't know if you can see this, but you know, this head has a, it has some kind of creases here, like little wrinkles um, here. And I would want to make sure that this, if I had a toka drum to put this on, I would want to make sure I get the best fit possible. So that's why we don't want to put it on wet, even though it basically will fit the drum. Um, but I would, you know, I use the word basically there. So not exactly. The way to get it to fit exactly is to soften the head, Fill it a little bit with water, wait, get some pliability there, let it dry out or, or take it out, dry it off, put it on the drum, and then tighten it down. Make sure it sits evenly, right? Make sure all the lugs are even and the drum head is sitting square on the drum, you know. And then just slowly tighten it over the next uh, day or two and let it dry. And I think you'll be really happy with the results. So that's one option. The other option, of course, is to start from scratch, get a flat drum head, and mount it on the drum. And you can do that. You can learn how to do it. It's not that difficult. If you're somewhat handy and you have a couple basic tools, you can do that. And I have a whole video on how to change a conga head from scratch with basically a flat head. But for those of you who would rather not do that or you can't do that or you just, yeah, you don't feel like it, get a pre-fitted head. Also, it might be called pre-tucked. I think generally they're called pre-fitted or just a replacement head. So figure out what drum you have. Uh, make sure it matches, you know, your particular drum. Most of the manufacturers will make replacement heads for all the drums they make. But if you have an older drum, you just want to make sure that the head you're getting is going to fit. That's why, you know, it's a good idea to talk to a service professional uh, from whatever resource you're using to purchase the heads. All right. I hope this is helpful. Uh, if you would like, you can join us at patreon.com and be part of our monthly percussion hangs. And then you can message me any time of the month and I'll do my best to get back to you with some personalized advice and attention. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Kalani. This is World Drum Club. I'll see you all in a future video.